So the next thing that I would want to do is bring in all my users. Um, I'm going to do that right down here in the LDAP integration section. So I'm going to click the big checkbox here and here I can set up what the schedule is for the sync. I'm just going to keep it at daily and uh, I could set an introductory message if I want. I could set a default password which I'm not going to do because we're set to use LDAP authentication and settings and I could also bring all these users into a certain cost account but I'm not going to do that either. So here I'm going to put the local host as the domain controller because that's what I am logged on to but also if you go into the command prompt and type in set set you'll get uh, all the information about the domain so down here below you see that there's a user domain uh, the drive.local is the um, the domain and, and drive is a logon domain there and then up above I see a logon server and that would be my domain controller so that's a good way to find that information if you don't know it uh, my base DN, if, if you don't know this, a good thing to do would be to download an LDAP browser like the Softera browser. Um, I know that mine is DC equals drive, comma DC equals local. I also know that my login domain is drive. And I'm going to type in the full name of the administrative user. It doesn't need to be the administrative user. It can be a local user or sorry, a, um, a regular domain user doesn't need to be a domain admin, but in this case I am a domain admin. Um, and so I could test it, but that would bring in all the users right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit it to a specific uh, group of users. When you do that, I would use the LDAP browser again, and then also remember that you need to put the full DN there, so you need the base DN at the end. So I'm going to test that. Um, and there we go. I got six users out of 11, so that means that there were 11 users in the system, and six are active and are of the students group. So those users will be automatically brought in uh, right away if I have it set to daily. So they should be there already. If I go up to users, I'll see, yep, there we go. So here are all my users. Um, they're all students. They're all just brought in as regular users. One thing that we might want to do if I go into the settings is turn on single sign-on password storage. Um, what that means is when the user first logs in, Drive will actually encrypt and store their password to make it available to Drive Image for a full single sign-on. Um, this allows Drive Image to do a lot of things that otherwise wouldn't be possible, like authenticate an email and scan a SharePoint. Um, but it's not turned on by default here. The Drive Print admin has to specifically turn that on. Uh, otherwise, we just store the username. So now I have all my users brought in and I can go about setting up printers.